Well, these were side dressed. Ready to go for a little bit longer. This one on this side, I forgot we put those little hostas in there. They're golden terrace. And uh, I had to sort of put it around them. This is the first time we've used this little cart. My wife said we needed to get it. I didn't think that we needed it. But I'll have to tell her tonight that that was a good idea. In this trash can, we've got what we took out of the pots. We've already dumped it three times out of the barrels. In this one, we got our little utility tray with all our implements of destruction and our compost and our lime and our osmocote. It takes a very little bit of uh, this. And if you're doing a whiskey barrel, maybe that much lime. I mean, a pound covers 100 square feet, so you need like 1 15th of a pound. It isn't, it isn't going to take much. It doesn't look like much, but it, I reckon it goes a long way. Well, that's it for right now. Hope this helped y'all. Thanks for watching. Well, we put compost down this one row and this half a row. And then all the soil that we took out of, uh, I think it was eight whiskey barrels, we saved it in a trash can and made several trips over here. And we threw it out over on this part. Now this soil would normally you throw it in a compost pile to help it rejuvenate. But this is where our mulch pile was. And we took that up last year. And the trouble with it is there's a lot of a compost pile, excuse me, not mulch pile. There's a lot of compost in it and not a lot of soil. So anything we can add to it will help it. And that's a lot better than not having it at all. And we... Uh, the soil underneath the darker material that came out of the whiskey barrels is not horrible, but uh, this little bit of soil will help. All I have to do is turn it in. Now we got to pick up a few things and uh, get ready to go home. Well, we finish upgrading the whiskey barrels with some compost and fertilizer and osmocote. These are fake uh, whiskey barrels made out of styrofoam. We probably had them 10 or 12 years. They've done really good. And if you won't tell anybody from a distance, they look like the real thing. The only one out of eight or nine of these that we have, and we got three or four at the house, is that one split. And I'll just put a little metal plate on it and put some screws through it, and that'll hold it back. You might wonder why I would put this cage around that barrel. We have tree rats. Now we feed the tree rats. And the squirrels, when they see us, they come to us. They don't come too close, but they come because they know they'll get some peanuts. Normally, I carry them in my pocket. At the house, I'll have a squirrel just standing by my foot looking up at me and sometimes scares the daylights out of me. And he just wants a peanut. Well, we plant marigolds in these whiskey barrels. And to be honest with you, it takes 9 to 11 plants. And that's about all it requires. We generally put Janine Dwarf marigolds in here and sometimes we put the normal ones uh, the Janines won't get to the top of this cage a normal marigold will uh, and we planted them both one time on a weekend and came back on like the next Thursday or Friday and the squirrels had gotten into this fresh soil to bury stuff and most of the marigolds were laying on the deck dead so I made these two wire cages and every year when we plant the marigolds I bend all the little tines so they'll fit just perfect in there and it stays there from a distance nobody can see it they just see the flowers if you use real whiskey barrels when you get one brand new or if you've got one right now and the rings haven't fallen down as the wood shrinks you notice the bottoms narrower than the top the metal bands will fall down and it'll come apart if you will take a short finishing nail and drive it right in there with a hammer in three places around each ring when the barrel shrinks the metal rings won't fall the reason we went to the styrofoam was because the whiskey barrels got up over forty dollars a piece and uh, they rotted out now if you put a trash bag or a trash can lid over top of them in the winter time you can extend the life of a wooden whiskey barrel at least by twice as much 
But it, we started at the bottom, tried it out, the sides tried it out, and we were throwing them away, and they got too expensive, five, six, eight dollars a year to have a whiskey barrel. So we bought these, they cost less to buy, and uh, we've used them 10 or 12 years, and they work pretty good. Well, that might be all for the day. It's getting to be 425 here on the East Coast, and we're going to straighten up and head up the road. Sitting on my deck here in Central Virginia. At least the sun's shining. My tomato plants at home are growing by the inch. Thanks for watching. Well, it's 520 here on the East Coast, and uh, we got a couple of things to do. My son's been helping me today. He usually helps me with a bunch of heavy lifting. Normally helps me. We've been redoing a bunch of rooms in the cottage, and uh, he's pretty good uh, carpenter, painter, sheetrock man. I've taught him everything he knows. We didn't have time to do this, but I'm going to let you guys know this, because this is something that works for me, and it may or may not work for you. I brought these two Better Boy tomatoes down here with us today. Now I've got, I think it's 40 steaks for tomatoes. And I was going to plant these two because I'm probably not going to plant my other ones for at least two weeks, if not three, because I want them to have a lot of roots. The reason I was going to plant these two today is these are sacrificial tomato plants. I'm going to plant these on two poles in the garden several weeks now before I plant my rest of my tomato plants. When that evil little moth flies around and lays all those tomato hornworm eggs on the tomato plants, he's only going to have two to choose from. And then when I plant the rest of them, I know what two to look to get the tomato hornworms off. I'm not saying they don't do it after June, but most of them are done between now and July. Or excuse me, now and 1st of June. So I'm, these are the two smallest, and I'm going to put them in the ground. We'll be back down here tomorrow and maybe Sunday. And uh, we're just going to let them sit there and let them lay the eggs on it. And let them become tomato hornworms. And I'll be able to hunt real hard and pick them all off when they're little. And it might save the rest of mine like it's done in years past. You might give it a try. What could it hurt? You might lose two little plants because of an early frost. Although now that it's the 1st of May in Virginia, that's going to be a rare occurrence. The latest frost I ever saw in my life, and I'm 70, was on May the 10th. Alright, maybe this will help you. We're going back home 